Today I'm going to show you how you add voice lines for your moves in Galaxy. The software we'll need for this is Fubar 2000, Looping Audio Converter and Audacity. I'm going to be including a modding template now so you, you don't need to extract your ROM FS and everything you'll need will be at your disposal. Links to everything I use will be in the description and in the download section. So first and foremost we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this, I don't know, voice lines. This is, this is what the tutorial has been called. Uh, then open up our modding template folder, going to SND, product, stream. So you're just clicking on all the folders and then it'll take you to this big list of um, sounds. This is kind of similar to the music uh, video I uh, made at the start of the tutorials. And instead of the EVs, we're going down to the Vs here with the looks of it. We're going straight down, and one thing to note, we are not oh, the W's. So, if you watched my um, tutorial on how to change the graphics for the moves, you'll notice that um, WHD 001 is the first defense move of the game. Uh, I don't know what it is because I don't. I'm not done with defenses yet. But all this is the move IDs. So they're kind of like, um, they're for everything in the game. So you have um, D, which is defense, O, which is offense, dribbles, K, which I think is caching, or keeper, it could be keeper. Yes, yeah, keeper, W, H, K is keeper. Uh, and S is shooting or shots or whatever you want. So for this example, we want, uh, where is it? The first uh, shot move, O, 01. That is File Tornado, so I'm going to copy this and put it inside the voice line folder. We're going to open up, listen to it. Okay, that sounds like File Tornado. We're going to right click the uh, the track here, go to Convert, Quick Convert, select WAV, Convert. I'm going to call this Fire Tornado. Because it's um, a WAV file, you don't really need to worry about name at the moment. It's only when it's uh, converted back into a BC, uh, CSTM file is when you need to worry about uh, what it's called. But we'll get back to that later. But we've got our move, so that's fine. Now we can uh, minimize uh, both of these tabs. And now we want to go into uh, Strikers uh, Sound. I've extracted the entirety of um, the Strikers audio files. They're all extracted inside this folder. Um, you could, this is one of the options you can do, there's another option where you can rip the uh, audio from the anime itself, that's another option I might go through the, uh, that as a potential option, but for now we'll uh, stick to strikers, um, everything here is nice and organised I think, uh, every, yeah everything's here. So, um, they've even got a, a, a WAV here which is uh, all the extracted stuff in their WAV format. We'll be needing the WAV format. So if you go into WAV, uh, then we are looking for, um, I believe it would be WAZA1. No, we're not doing WAZA1. Or maybe File. Th in fact, it's probably just better because of how many they are just looking for File Tornado. Let's look for, type in here File Tornado and it should come up. Okay, so as you can see, there is um, voice lines by different people. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go and grab Go NGs here. So um, I think these will do A A B B. Okay, uh, so these will do. Just look for one you you fancy. Just take make sure you take multiple so we can listen to them and see what ones you prefer. Um, so we're gonna copy these over to the uh, voice line folder. Here they are. Uh, so next we're going to do is open up Audacity. Once we're in Audacity, what we want to do is drag the uh, Waza. Uh, file tornadoes inside uh, Audacity first, and don't worry if you've not used any anything like this 
before i'll run it down uh what you need what's essential for this so as you can see there's two um dead files here we can just get rid of them we don't need them they won't be doing anything so um what i like to do uh for this is press the solo button and listen to the file from there fire as you can hear uh we only hear this uh track here um then i just go down to the next track solo it, tornado and repeat uh to see what one i, I like the most fire tornado okay okay Turn uh, so going from that we there's two ones i don't like uh that being uh the two at the top here these two sound like his adult form and strikers we don't want that so we can get rid of it these two sound like his normal uh young form so we'll keep that um however there is a kai at the end we don't need kai so i'm just going to click and drag with uh make sure the selection tool is selected and then press delete that get that gets rid of the kai and we don't need to worry about that so now that we've got our two voice lines, we, what we want is the actual move itself, Fire Tornado. So we'll drag that in here. And again, we'll listen. Oh, we'll listen from the start, it'll be handy. Okay. So what I like to do is play it by, uh, play it by the visual. So uh, how it, it's done in the anime is how I like to do it in in the game. So what I'm going to do is uh, get an episode of the anime and have a look to uh, to see how it's done there, and we'll try and replicate that. He shouts out "Fire Tornado" just before he kicks the ball. So this section here is our limit. So usually we'll be right about here is where we're um putting in the voice lines. Okay, we'll unsolo the track here. Everything becomes available. I'm going to click on the time shift tool. This drags the the stuff here. I'm actually going to drag this up top and get rid of that. Let's fail. Let's uh hassle that way. Um, so I'm actually what I'm going to do is trim this a little bit as well, so that it's a bit more tight you know what I'm, you know what i'm saying um so here let's just run it back oh. perfect and then we'll take up this we can do it either in a stage so he builds it up by our tornado or we can, or we can just do it in a one -er. Entirely up to you. Personally, I like the first option where he builds it up and then uh, strikes. My only uh, criticism to this, though, is that the um, this is too loud. The actual move is too loud. So what I'm going to do is on this little node here, uh, the vol. This is the gain node. You can decrease that by a set amount and uh, the volume will decrease as well. Fire and now we've got a move that's kind of as nice and like well audio, well balanced in audio. So that's perfect. Well, what we're, we're done here now. So what we're going to do is go to file, export and export as WAV. Uh, inside voice lines, you might have it in uh, your documents or your desktop or whatever uh, make sure you go to your new folder uh, voice lines and name this new fire tornado or something that you will remember uh, it'll come up with the warrant saying your tracks will be mixed down as and exported as one file uh, just click ok that's perfectly fine we want it as one file anyway now that we're done with we're done with us as i say we can click out it now and um as you can see here new fire tornado is uh is present perfect okay so now what we're going to do is convert the new file tornado into a bcstm audio file uh to th for to do that what we're going to do is open up looping audio converter inside this we're going to add and 
redirect yourself to voice lines, open up new file tornado, it's opened up there. I'm going to change the output folder to voice lines. Um, you can put it wherever you wish. You can even put it in straight into your um, SDN uh, folder that you're going to be uh, using. But um, for me, voice lines will do. Um, so once that's done, uh, output format, change that to BCSTM, export whole song, click start, Extra exported one file. As you can see, there it is. We can come out uh, with an audio converter. Now what I'm going to do is rename um, this, the original file here. We'll click Control C, copies it. I'm going to make a new, uh, I'll delete that. We can delete that now. Then rename new file tornado, paste the original um, file name, and that is you. Now, one thing left to do, and that is add it into our uh, Citra. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to open up Citra. Oh, no. Uh, open mods location inside ROMFS. Uh, mine is a bit different because I do a lot of experimental things. So I'm going to quickly make a, a folder called SND, then inside uh, product, then inside stream. There we go. So the good thing about um, the SND folder is you don't need every single file to um, make it work. Uh, you can mod as, as much as you want. Say if you just want to mod in File Tornado and Eternal Blizzard, you can just have uh, one and two in there and it'll work perfectly fine. The other moves will work perfectly fine as well. They'll carry on. So that's you can just drop and drag that in there. You don't need anything else, just that file and everything will be uh, hunky-dory, as we say. So now that that's fine, we can load up our uh, game here and we'll see how it sounds in-game. Okay, so here's a battle here. and I've actually got um, Goenji on my party just because it's from him. Uh, my warning is about to come as soon as I'm uh, finished scoring a goal. <laughs> uh, but I can't move my camera, which is always helpful. Ah, crap. Oh, well. There we go. So, now we can get to hear Fire Tornado. Let's hear how it sounds. File tornado. It is a bit quiet, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that's due because in Audacity we try to balance it and we balanced it too low. I think a fix for that would be making it higher in that regard. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you you know it works, right? So you know it works. However, the, the problem I'm I have with um, doing this is that it's just go and you saying this say if I equip it on f I'm actually going to do this say if I equip it on Faye right let's get he's uh, let's get rid of bouncing bouncer rabbit here on battle tornado here we go so say Faye has it now right and now we, we challenge these guys again Uh, I'm actually going to forfeit this. I want to get rid of these, uh, oh, like the music. Uh, sound 5, music 3. Perfect. And we'll challenge these guys again, right? So, phase are now our new man for the job. Oh, this looks weird. <laughs> so, go in, Jay. Um. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Right. So now Faye's going to do Fire Tornado. tornado. No, Faye, it's, you know, it's going to his voice with Faye. That's the only, it's, no matter what, you can't change who says it, because, you know, um, it doesn't, it's using one file, and you, for, the move, if that is, it's a bit complicated because you're posting 
a, a, a voice line on a, a sound effect kind of thing. The sound effect is used multiple times, but the voice line would be used by like the character itself because you're using um, a, a voice line on a sound effect. It's messing up everything. It's a bit complicated, I know, but essentially, um, because you're using uh, that, I find it a bit uh, tacky and not really what I would use personally, but there you go, there's the tutorial. Special thanks to Resora and Meteor in the YouTube comment section. If it wasn't for you two, I wouldn't have made this video. But uh, thank you uh, for requesting uh, or asking the question, is there a way to do a special move? If you have your own uh, question about modding, let me know in the comments below. I'll try, to, I'll answer it and maybe if it's good enough, it'll be its own video. Who knows? But with that said, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Give us a subscribe for more Inazuma 11 content on the way. I'm still working on the Orion mod and the um, classic Inazuma Japan mod. Both mods will be releasing a, an update on within the coming weeks. Um, I'm really far on the Orion mod, so you'll receive more updates for that as they come along. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. But with that said, I'm off for today and I'll hope to see everyone soon.